What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I do appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Borderlands 3 video and today we're going to break down the latest trailer which was epic by the way and point out a few things you may have missed, things to know and other interesting points to talk about. But before we do that people and go any further, if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really does help me out and I do appreciate that support. Okay so let's get into it and the trailer starts with mayhem is coming and for sure it is people it looks amazing we then see snippets of different worlds the game beholds pando is no doubt returning but these new locations at the moment although we've seen a few snippets of what they look like we don't know where they are just quite yet next up we see amara the siren with this unique looking melee it seems now we know within borderlands as we do each character only has the one action skill now this trailer seems to showcase what could quite possibly be more than one action skill per vault hunter or maybe even a choice of ways they could work as we see further into the trailer each vault hunter offering very different ways in which it seems their action skills work maybe the action skills ability changes depending on the skills you use and set up with the different skill trees much like we see in borderlands 2 but within this trailer like i will point out later on in the video it seems as though the abilities these action skills are doing entirely different things, but we'll speculate about that later on. Next up, we see Moles' Gunner summoning her mech suit, which interestingly, it seems it will be the first action skill we have, which allows another player to jump in and share the ability and cause even more damage due to being able to get into the mech suit and firing another mounted weapon on the mech suit, which sounds pretty cool. We see this in a few parts of the trailer also. Next up we see a new vehicle which looks absolutely epic. In his first shot we see Amaro driving, then it cuts and we see Moles in the driver's seat and then we see Zane driving it. So yeah, everybody's driving this mofo. Then we see the first shot of all four Vault Hunters. A brief description about each one, Moles as the gunner when Moles needs backup. She digistructs her mech iron bear for a sucker punch of additional firepower. Amara as the siren, a confident capable brawler with the ability to summon ethereal fists. Amara uses her siren powers to smash her enemies. Flak as the beastmaster, Flak lives for the hunt. So do the loyal beasts that follow their masters every command. Their preferred prey, unsuspecting bandits, those poor suckers. And Zane as the operative, specializing in battlefield gadgetry. Zane is extremely proficient at slipping into combat, creating chaos and sneaking back out as if he was never there. So pretty cool, that's a brief description of each Vault Hunter new to Borderlands 3. The main villains it seems in the game has are called the Calypso Twins. And there is plenty of speculation surrounding this pair. Troy and Tyreen, mainly due to her being a siren and although not confirmed it's pretty obvious due to her blue tattoos but him being her twin people have speculated that he could be the first ever male siren notice the red tattoos on his face also the red crystal like energy capsules around his neck so is his sister somehow transferring her powers to him he does look like he's been rebuilt so i mean you never know i know sirens are all normally female and there can only be six in total but there's definitely something more to this within the first teaser as we do know there was Morse code telling us to count the sirens, so yeah, I do think Gearbox are hiding something here, but we will see. Plus, we do know the Calypso twins plan to unite all the bandit clans into their one very cult. Could this possibly be the children of the vault? Should we see the plastered all over the trailer? But as we see later in the trailer also, it seems as though we are attacking their base, which is called the Salvation Children of the Vault. We also see it states witnessed, I believe, maybe using Mr. Calypso and showcasing his siren abilities to indeed unite all the bandit clans. Kind of using him like a Jesus-like figure to get people to believe and follow the cult of the Children of the Vault. I mean, it's just one possible theory here. Moving on and we see this epic looking robot and as we see by the M on its shoulder it is no doubt created by Mariwan, a weapons manufacturer of Pandora. This I believe will be a boss later on in the game. Later on in the trailer I do believe we see us in battle with it. A split second later we see a few new enemies including what at first I thought was a lion like creature but then we see it wielding a weapon. Actually amazing design on this thing when you get a closer look it looks scary as heck but definitely a new enemy for sure. 
we also see what I believe are female bandits. Now, I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure female bandits were not a part of past Borderland games. Correct me if I'm wrong there, though, people. Next up, we see that customizing vehicles is back. It looks way more vibrant, though, than I remember in B2. That's for sure. Next up, we see this big old Jelly Belly Morpho wielding two beastly looking weapons. Kind of look like light machine guns. Interestingly, later on in the trailer, we see Zane wielding one of these very weapons. So I'm guessing this fat bastard boss, you are rewarded this weapon for slaying his ass. The trailer goes on showing a few bits and bobs that we already know about. But interesting for many, it seems as though split screen is coming back. We then see Lilith. We then see Sir Hammerlock and his sister Aurelia. Not sure who the dude on the right is though. We then see Ellie. We then see Tiny Tina, Brick and Mordecai. It's good to see these old characters making a return. It just leaves one wondering what part in the game they will play. We then see what I mentioned earlier in perfect fashion as Mole's using her mech iron bear suit thingy bob, her uh, action skill, and Amaro getting to the top of this mech suit. We then see Zane with his arm tech thingy thingy flying in front of him firing no doubt at enemies next up uh, we see i believe at atlas headquarters on this new skyscraper location or planet atlas is a weapons manufacturing corporation supplying arms to the pandora market weapons manufactured by the atlas corporation may be randomly generated in borderlands their signature feature being their pearl handles we then see what I believe is a vehicle from past Borderland games, but this one seems to have some kind of energy source barrier on the front and sides. Maybe it's been worked on by Atlas as we do see on the same planet we see their headquarters, it seems. Notice the building in the background saying Seek Shelter 2, pretty cool. Next up in the trailer we see this stained glass feature of the Calypso twins, more so reflecting on my previous point of somehow making the bandit clans worship them, kind of like a Jesus like figure. Next up we see Maya, a siren from B2, but the chick on the left I believe is new to the franchise. Some say she could be a new siren, I don't know, I mean you can't see the tattoos on her because she's covered up. People think it could be Maya's daughter, but I don't think enough time has passed, has it? Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, to my point earlier when I mentioned the action skills and there being multiple types of ways in which they can be used, maybe depending on which skill trees are selected and used, they could change the way these action skills are indeed used. And I say this because through the trailer we see Amaru using uh, a few of fists in totally different ways. The first instance we see some kind of super powerful melee hit. This I believe could just be a melee hit. It could also be the first glimpse of what this will look like when you're in her action skill within a first person view, we don't know. But we actually see her summon her action skill and she uses it to kind of smash the ground. But later on in the trailer, although it's hard to see, we see her using the ability in a totally different way. We see her kind of clap her hands together and summon some kind of spirit version of herself which seems to lunge forward and explode to maybe just destroy what's ahead. The whole time Amara is still where she was behind the summoned version of herself. Now I will say the game's new, this indeed could mean that there are a whole host of ways these new Vault Hunters can use and apply their action skills. I mean once Amara summons her action skill, it may just be able to be used in different ways. I just love that idea though, there'd be multiple ways of said abilities being utilised. Also we see Flak who is the Beastmaster and it states to his loyal beasts. So does this mean he can command more than one beast? In the trailer we see one of his loyal beasts, but later on it seems also that he may be in control or command of a flying beast, as we see them flying along the Vault Hunters. Now these could be new and improved versions of the Rax, or just a new flying creature to the game, I don't know. But if you look at it in slow motion, it does seem as though they are flying alongside the four Vault Hunters. We just don't know, but if these are low to his command, it adds to the point that there being more ways to utilise those action skills, meaning different beasts for Flak to command. Sounds cool to me, people. But yeah guys, the trailer is full of secrets, no doubt. Loads of mist also, and if you do spot one which I haven't covered, let me know down below within that comments section. I just wanted to do a little breakdown video of things you may have missed. But I know a lot of you people are eagle-eyed bastards like me and not missed a single thing. But if you have, like I said, found something I haven't mentioned in the video, let me know what it is down below in that comment section. Also, let me know what you think it could mean too. 
But guys, on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like. It really does help out. If you're new around here and this is what you want to see more of, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.